So I'm going to show you how to train your ferret today. And I have link here. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do basically whenever you eat a ferret is you want to have some kind of trust with your ferret. With any animal really. Because they're not going to do something for someone that they don't know. Um, so, first thing is to establish trust. Which you can do that uh, many different ways. You can do it like um, just feeding them and taking care of them and then petting them every once in a while, playing with them. Um, and then, you know, you want your ferret to be okay with you. They want to be safe. <clears throat> so whenever you got that down, you want to get to know your ferret and find out what they like as in treats and things. And my ferrets Have some treats here. Um, my favorites. Okay. What I know about Link. <laughs> he sees the treats now. Link likes raisins. These treats. Oops, sorry. These. Um, he likes these. And if you are just trying to like get your ferret to use tricks and you do them on a regular basis, you can even use their food that you feed them. Okay, let's see. He knows how to stand. And then he will, let's see, roll over. Basically you want to get their head behind and then twirl them over. And then spin, you just make them go around in a circle and then you give them the treat and that shows them that they did a good job so Link <laughs> I guess just to show you that Link is not the only kind of uh, ferret that will do tricks so they get Zelda too Okay, so I grabbed Zelda. She was playing while exploring. So, um, she loves treats too. These treats. This is the only treat she likes. She doesn't like raisins. She'll just store them and she won't ever eat them again. No link. Okay. So. She's all rolled up. Okay, so I can get her to stand. She's so cute. And then she'll roll over. Come on. Well, not spin. There, she got to roll over. And then I'll get her to spin. Maybe. <laughs> spin. See? Then you give her the treat. Then she goes and runs and hides it. 